So what's up guys, my name's Ash and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video guys, I've got some custom tactics and player instructions for the best and probably the most popular formation in FIFA 23, this being the 4-3-2-1. Just before we get started though guys, I would very much appreciate it if you could drop this a thumbs up as it does really help me out. It's time for shapeshifters, so if you guys need any coins, make sure you check out MMOXP.com. Their link is down in the description, they're fast, cheap and reliable and if you use my code REMA, you can get yourself a very nice 5 percent discount okay guys so starting off with the custom tactics for the defensive style i like to have this on balance this is the same as always the reason we have this on balanced is because it does give us the best control over our defenders so when we need to press we're able to press and then when we want to drop off be a little bit more passive we're also able to do that so it does give us the very much needed control that the other settings might not give us moving on to the defensive width guys i've got this on 37 but again it's not a specific specific number that you need to use. I would suggest anywhere between 35 and 45. The reason I go for like 37 is because I want my defense to be primarily narrow and compact, which will stop the opponents being able to run right through the middle of us uh, and stop just passing right through us, basically. The reason I don't have my width any lower, though, is because it's still important to maintain some of the natural width to cover the wider areas in case an opponent tries an attack down the wing. So if you guys want to up the width even more that is also fine just know that there's probably going to be a few more holes in your defense because it's a bit more spread out if that makes sense moving on to the depth guys again not a specific number you need to use but i have this on 58 i would suggest anywhere between like 55 and 65 the reason i'm using it on 58 at the moment is because i find it to be very balanced so our defensive line isn't too deep to the point where we're always getting pinned back and on the flip side it's not too high to the point where one through ball will always destroy so it's a really nice balanced defensive line where sometimes we can win the ball higher up the pitch and other times we can sit back a little bit deeper. Now moving on to build up play guys, I have this on balance, this is because it's by far the most controlled and consistent in my opinion, basically with balance you can play whichever style you want whenever you want, this isn't really the case with the other ones, they're very specific, for example if you use fast build up you're always going to have to play quickly, if you play, uh, use slow build up you're always going to have to play slowly, with balance you can pick and choose when you want to play a bit faster and when you want to play a little bit slower. Moving on to chance creation guys, I highly suggest direct passing this is because it's by far the most meta option in the game basically when you use direct passing your attacking players will like bunch up against the defenders so you can do the very overpowered 1v1 isolation plays players will also make those extra movements in the box so you can get off those extra passes to guarantee the goals direct passing is super important in my opinion moving on to the width guys again not a specific number you need to use uh, i would suggest anywhere between like 35 and maybe like 45 even pushing 50 if you want but the reason I go for like 41 is kind of just something I settled on is because I don't want my attack to be like super wide otherwise it feels like a 4-3-3 and I actually don't want it to be too narrow either otherwise it feels like your uh, attackers are like sat on top of each other when you're going forward and there's not much space between the players so I think it's really nice and balanced on like 40-41 because basically your attack is narrow but it's not too narrow if that makes sense. Moving on two players in box guys I have this on five this is bang in the middle this is so we can get a few players into the box to score those chances but at the same time we don't overcommit the entire team to the point where if we lose out on possession we're not always going to get counter-attacked as for corners and free kicks I have these both on one because there is a set piece routine that I use which require these to be on one there is a link to that in the top right hand corner of the screen now moving on to the players you want to use guys I'm just going to give some suggestions because a lot of people ask which types of players they should be using so I'm just going to give you a basic guide uh, for each position you guys don't have to use this if you don't want but in the striker position I kind of like to go for a nice well-rounded striker this is somebody that can do a bit of everything because this is a one striker formation so we kind of have to compensate for the fact that we lack a striker that we would have in a two striker formation so I suggest going for somebody that could like shoot on either foot somebody with good pace and a bit of physical somebody that can also dribble and pass basically a nice well-rounded player that being said you don't have to 
to use them if you do not want to. Moving on to the right forward and the left forward, I suggest you use actual wingers. This is because these players are the main outlets, even though this is like a narrow formation, these are like the main outlets, the main winger style players, if that makes sense. So it is important that you use players that can dribble, players that have good pace, players that maybe have decent skill moves, uh, and also players that can shoot as well, because these players will often find themselves in those positions where they do actually need to finish off those chances. So don't make, so you want to make sure that these players uh, don't waste all their chances and can actually finish. Moving on to the right centre mid guys, I like to go for a more box to box style midfielder. This is somebody that is going to attack and defend. So I would suggest somebody with a high high work rate if you can get it, as you get the maximum contribution in both the attack and the defence. Uh, and I would suggest somebody with a nice well rounded card so that they are capable of doing a bit of everything. Moving on to the middle centre mid, I use a more defensive minded midfielder. This is somebody that is going to stay back, break up the play and ensure that we are as good defensively as we possibly can be. So I would suggest somebody with a medium high work rate if you can get it as you get the maximum contribution in defense and this player is not too bothered about going forward. Moving on to the left center mid guys, we can use an actual attacker here. Now this is because this player isn't actually going to have to play as a center mid when we don't have the ball. Don't worry, I'll explain this in the player instructions, but you really don't have to worry about this player's defensive ability. So you can pretty much use whoever you want. You could use an Mbappe, Neymar, Messi, pretty much anyone you want to use in this position uh, but yeah there's really no restrictions I like to go for a really attacking player in this left centre mid spot moving on to the fullbacks I like to go for a balance between the two so my left back is more attacking is actually going to go forward and contribute for us and then my right back's just going to stay back be a little bit more defensive so I just like to have that balance you guys don't have to if you don't want as for the centre backs and the goalkeeper these just need to be the full meta players there's really not too much to add regarding them now moving on to the player instructions guys on the striker I have him on stay central and get him behind we have him on stay central because we don't want him drifting off into the wider areas he is our striker so it is important that he does maintain a central position uh, and is always in the correct position for us I also have him on getting behind so he's always looking to make those runs in behind and annoy our opponents as much as possible uh, I do sometimes use him on mixed attack when I'm struggling to build up but honestly against most players getting behind is great because they do always make those runs which are very difficult for the average player to stop. Moving on to the right forward, I actually have him on comeback on defense. Now the reason I do this is because it makes the team defend in a 4-4-2. Why you might ask is because the 4-4-2 is by far one of the best uh, defensive formations in the game because you can defend both the narrow areas and the wide areas super well because of the four defenders and the four midfielders covering all that space. So by putting this right forward on comeback on defense, he'll come back to defend as a right mid in the 4-4-2. So Saka and Keane will stay up top for me and then Rafinha will come back to be a right mid and then Havertz would be a left mid uh, and then Casemiro and Modric would be the two centre mids so I hope that uh, makes sense for you guys now for the left forward I have him on stay central and getting behind kind of for the same reasons as the striker it is a narrow formation so we don't always want him like drifting off wide we want him to primarily stay in those central areas and we also want to utilize his pace and uh, pace and get him in behind uh, which is why we have him on that instruction now moving on to the left centre mid where we've got an actual attacker we have him on get forward get into the box cross and cover wing we have him on get forward so he's not scared to go forward because this is an actual attacker we do want him to contribute we have him on get into the box for cross so he's not hesitant to get into the penalty area and then most importantly we have him on cover wing so he does defend as a left mid in the 4-4-2 when we don't have the ball this is why i said the defensive stats on this player is really not important because they don't have to play as a center mid when we don't have the ball moving on to the middle center mid the more defensive minded player we have him on stay back while attacking stay on the edge of the box cross and cover center stay back is because he's obviously defensive we don't want him going forward stay on the edge of the box for cross is kind of just like in case he does end up on a run forward he won't commit into the penalty area and then we have him on cover center so he does defend as one of the center mids in the 4-4-2 shape and moving on to the right center mid the more box to box style player we have him on the default settings and cover center we have him on the default settings because we really don't want to restrict this player all that much he is a box to box player so kind of want to let him do his own thing 
The only important thing is that we have him on cover centre, so he does defend as one of the centre mids. Moving on to the left back, my more attacking fullback, I have him on balance, attack and overlap. This is so he will actually go forward and contribute for us. And then we have him on the overlap run type, so we, we will make the overlapping runs to add extra width to our attack. This means we have narrow options and wide options when we are going forward. Moving on to the right back, the more defensive fullback, we have him on stay back and overlap. We have him on stay back, so we always have at least three defenders back at a time, but we have him on the overlap run type. In case we do send him on a run forward, he will make those overlapping runs to add the width. As for the center backs and the keeper, these are on the default settings, guys, and I do not touch them. But yeah, they are my custom tactics and player instructions for the 4-3-2-1. If you have enjoyed or found it useful, please be sure to drop it a thumbs up, sub to the channel if you are new, and don't forget to turn on notifications. And with all that aside, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you all in the next one.